I'm Dr. Brian Bauer. I'm a board certified urologist. I've been in the Catawba Valley for now 10 years. My practice had been in Lenore and I've recently relocated to an Al the Valdez Hospital campus and the new medical office building there. I went to college at Georgetown College. It's a small liberal arts school outside of Lexington, Kentucky. Medical school at the University of Louisville. I graduated in 1990. I attended medical school on a United States Navy scholarship. After medical school, I went on active duty and did my residency training at the Naval Medical Center in Portsmouth, Virginia. My time there included two years as the medical officer aboard a ship, the USS Ashland, one of the Navy's uh, amphibious assault platforms. That was uh, after my internship. Uh, those two years were fulfilled aboard ship, and then I spent the next four years in residency training. My last two years on active duty were at the Naval Hospital in Charleston, South Carolina. I moved to uh, Lenore in 1999 and continue to live there, but have again relocated my practice now here to Burke County. Well, the urologist is the surgical specialist of the kidneys. The nephrologist is uh, our colleagues who are the medical uh, specialist of the kidneys. We take care of things such as kidney stones, prostate cancer, uh, erectile dysfunction, incontinence issues in both men and women. Uh, those are the, the uh, let's say garden variety things that we take care of in urology. In this part of the world, in the southeastern United States, we live in the stone belt, uh, the kidney stone belt, so probably the bulk of what I do surgically uh, deals with the, uh, the, the care and remedy, if you will, of kidney stones. Relative heat and humidity do play a role. If you look at Australia in the Southern Hemisphere where the seasons are reversed, when it's winter time here, it's summertime there, their kidney stone incidence goes up. And then when it's summertime here, our rates go up and their rates go down. So heat and humidity do play a role. And that's probably as a consequence of the relative dehydration that results. Kidney stones occur because the urine becomes overly saturated with this stuff. Well, the urine can only maintain so much of this stuff in solution. When that can no longer be maintained, crystals form, and crystals upon crystals make stones. Another probable risk factor is dietary indiscretion. The most common kidney stones we see in our country are made of calcium and then this stuff called oxalate. Everybody worries about the calcium thinking they're drinking too much milk or eating too much ice cream but it's probably the oxalate stuff that's probably 15 times as important. And oxalates are found in high quantities in things like soft drinks, iced tea, chocolate, beans, beets, broccoli, black pepper, uh, eggplant and rhubarb, but I'm, I'm still waiting for my first patient to tell me it's all that eggplant and rhubarb that they're eating. It's primarily things like soft drinks and iced tea. Well, I've actually been uh, working with Dr. Greg Jones of Radiation Oncology at Valdez Hospital for 10 years. Greg and I flew to Seattle, Washington together in 2000 to learn how to do prostate brachytherapy. That's the implantation of radioactive seeds into the prostate to treat prostate cancer. If you look at the, the incidence of cancers, prostate cancer is actually the number one solid organ malignancy in men. Uh, we also take care of bladder cancer, which is number four, and kidney cancer, which is number six. So, you know, we have three of the top ten malignancies right off the bat that we care for. Uh, so obviously that's a, a big scope of our practice, too. Oh, uh, second to none. Uh, certainly uh, Greg and his staff, or Dr. Jones and his staff, I should say, have done a wonderful job. In, We'll continue to do that, and I only hope to add to that uh, capacity in some small way. We're uh, just a short drive down the Conley Springs Road, and we're right across the Castle Bridge. So uh, you know where we are. It's uh, just a, a short trip away, and we'll continue to provide the same quality care that we did in Lenore, just in our new location. And again, we hope to, in the very near future, add uh, office time in Lenore. Uh, once that space becomes available, that's our goal is to also uh, have office there one day a week.